I'm Stephen Foskett, and this is Tech Field Day. The video you're about to see brings together a panel of a dozen delegates from around the world who focus on enterprise technology to talk and learn about new technology products from companies like DriveScale. If you'd like to learn more about this, you can go to techfieldday.com. And if you like this video, you can see a lot more at youtube.com slash techfieldday. So introducing DriveScale, uh, we, uh, Thomas Atya started the company in uh, uh, March of, two, of 2013, so we're a little over three and a half years old. Uh, they worked for a couple of years, I'm sorry, for, they worked for a year figuring out if this idea made sense or not, and then in April of 2014, uh, they hired a third founder, uh, Dwayne Northcutt, to come form a team to go build the product, and that's also when I came on board. Uh, we're, we're at 21 employees today. Uh, we have, uh, we're about one year into our Series A financing. Uh, we still have plenty of money left uh, from that financing. It was led by Pelly and Venture Partners uh, with a big investment from Foxconn, who is a strategic partner of ours, and they build the hardware for us. They, they co-designed that with us um, and Nautilus Venture Partners. We announced the company in May, uh, and uh, we released our, our second release of the product uh, just this past September. Uh, so the team, uh, three founders and I across the top, I'll, I'll talk a little bit more about our background uh, in a moment. Uh, we are joined by a VP of Sales, VP of Product Management, and a Director of Marketing, all with, uh, you'll notice there's a lot of gray hair uh, in this group. Uh, and uh, we've all been around the block a few times, a number of companies, I'll talk about that. Uh, but it extends through the whole team. Uh, so. Uh, the four, uh, the three founders and I all came from Sun. Actually, of the 21 people in the company, 17 of us spent some time at Sun one time or another. Uh, so really, that's kind of the, the fountain of, of where we've come from. Uh, Tom Lyon was uh, employee number eight at Sun. Uh, and he did a lot of networking work. Uh, Sun, Sun's networking products were called Sunlink. Uh, he worked on NFS. He also worked on the Spark architecture. Uh, he, he really worked on a lot of stuff at Sun. Um, Satya Nishtala uh, was the architect for uh, all the UltraSpark workstations during the 90s. UltraSpark 1, UltraSpark 2, UltraSpark uh, 40, and 60. 40 and 60, thank you. Uh, and the wor workgroup servers that were derived from them. Uh, he also did some, uh, some storage, uh, Sun storage products. Uh, Dwayne Northcutt was the inventor of Sunray. I don't know if you remember that, it was a thin client. Uh, Sun shipped over a million of these things. They were really extremely popular and extremely effective. Um, Tom, uh, oh, uh, oh, and me. I, I was uh, my last. I, I was at Sun for 15 years. Uh, my last job, I was the general manager of the workstation business unit, and uh, Satya and Dwayne worked for me. So that's how we we know each other. Um, Tom left Sun and uh, invent, he invented IP switching. Uh, and he started a company called Ypsilon to implement this idea he had, uh, and it eventually got sold to Nokia, and IP switching really became kind of a standard feature of uh, certainly all the WAN, uh, or the, the Wi-Fi uh, switches. Um, Satya and Tom together uh, were founders of Nuova Systems, uh, which was the Cisco spin-in that became uh, Cisco UCS. So they were, they were the architects for all the Cisco UCS systems for about five or six years. In fact, just this last summer, uh, Cisco an, an announced their, the, uh, Satya's last design there. So his legacy continued on even to uh, just this past year. Um, uh, Dwayne left Sun to do a startup with Andy Bechtelsheim called Kaalia. It was a, a, a video server uh, company. Uh, Sun bought them back, so that wasn't such a great thing for Dwayne. So he uh, uh, be went over to join some friend of his to be the CEO, CTO of uh, Silicon Image, uh, which invented HDMI, which we all use, and uh, thankfully got rid of you know eight cables coming out of our, uh, of our all of our receivers. Uh, and they built they 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 invented this architecture and promoted it and made it a standard. And then the three of them, of course, uh, came together to found uh, DriveScale. So the point of all this is uh, what I told the VCs, if you're doing social media, then you need some 27-year-olds. But if you're doing computer system architecture and data center architecture, it really pays to have some guys who have been around the block and have been doing this stuff for a lot, uh, a lot of years. 
and we certainly have. Uh, my own background, quickly, uh, when I left Sun, I was CEO of an uh, uh, application firewall company, uh, which got sold to uh, Barracuda. Barracuda, thank you. Uh, and then I got caught up in the green tech uh, enthusiasm of Silicon Valley and was the founding CEO of uh, Zero Motorcycles. Uh, Zero is the largest electric motorcycle company in the world today. It's, it's uh, in Scotts Valley uh, and it's doing very well. But the uh, investors finally figured out with me that having a computer guy running a uh, motorcycle company probably, probably wasn't the best idea. Uh, so I'm still on the board, still very enthusiastic for the company. Uh, and then I did one last uh, Green Tech project, it was a waste heat recovery generator company, and we sold it to a big energy company in, uh, in Canada. Then delightedly came back to the computer business uh, with DriveScale uh, two and a half years ago. So why now, why, what's, uh, why did we do DriveScale? So um, the foundational trend is that data got really big in these, whale, in these web scale businesses like Facebook and Google and uh, Amazon. And they had so much data that needed to be stored but also processed that they uh, stole some ideas from high, perform high performance computing and created this new uh, architecture called scale out where you have thousands and thousands of computers that store the data and process the data in parallel. That was the only way they could solve the problems that they were, were faced with. And as this matured, it moved into the enterprise to be the foundation for big data analytics. Um, but the enterprises really don't have in-house computer companies like Google and Facebook have. Uh, so they have some need for some architectural help. And that's what we're trying to provide. Another industry trend is Ethernet. Um, Ethernet has kind of blown away all the other options as far as interconnecting things. So uh, Tom will talk some more about that. Uh, but the expansion of performance from 1 gig to 10 gig is what really enabled uh, what we're trying to do uh, to be possible. And that is to disaggregate uh, disk storage in the rack from the compute. And uh, without this high performance, low latency, low cost set of switches, uh, we couldn't have done what we're, what we're doing today. And then uh, it, this is moving on to 100 gigabit, and that's going to be the enabler for doing the same kind of disaggregation <coughs> for flash. And we'll talk quite a bit more about that. 